Hey there, friends. A fight? Is someone there? Arius Lorus here. Alright, um... Haven't we killed enough bandits for one day? You think I'm afraid of you? Then again... This is the next day, so... I guess... We can reset the timer. Alright, I think you've only been... Knocked unconscious, unfortunately. You know what? I'm taking your weapons and your water. Well, I can leave you your water skin. I'd end you, but I'd rather. So you're good with picking locks? I like to think I'm good with picking locks too, but. Picking locks. Virgin selling them? I think it's fair to say everyone must be up to no good these days. So watch yourself. You know what? My skill in picking locks. Well, it's been grown through many, many weeks of extensive practical application. <laughs> what? What's going on? What the hell? Did you did you come from? Damn you! Whoa! Oh. Oh, Whoa! Now? All right. All right. You want, you want the fly? Oh, I think it just broke a nail. I don't hate you. You're quite strong, eh? It's a woman. Ooh, oh, they're pretty strong. Alright. Alright. Very good. Whoa, alright. Right. No. Get them out. I fought you. I doubt. Everyone gather around. Let me heal you. Oh. All right. Let's for good measure. All right. And let's. Hmm. Body torch. No doubt these are more bandits from Mistwatch. Fieldless people returning from some trip. Alright, let's just take their weapons. You won't be getting any more Innocent civilians to ransom and murder at your leisure. I have half a mind to go back to Mistwatch and end Fiotli as well. I didn't have the heart to do it when... Ooh, Strawberry Kostata. Hmm. <clears throat> when Krista was there, I wouldn't have had the... Well, ability to lie about it, facing him. I'm kind of afraid of what he would have done if I had told him that I had uh, murdered his wife, no matter what the circumstance. 
any case, um, we'll return here in time if she's rebuilt her gang again. There will be no second chances. So, all right. It really is a new day. And we didn't get sleep. We didn't. We went through the whole night fighting bandits. I wonder why the Dunmer are called Dark Elves. It makes them sound really evil. What can I do for you, friend? Oh, nothing. It's fine. Come on. It's a beautiful morning. Whoa, look at those stars. Don't believe I've ever noticed that the stars were so bright. Constellations. Huh. Sometimes you need to just pause every now and then. Just realize how beautiful the world is around you. Okay. If you can hear me. <laughs> okay. You know, I've had some thoughts. I've lost, well, I've lost touch with you, R.K., ever since I returned from Sovereign Guard. And I thought that, well, perhaps, perhaps this was due to our actions. Not bad. Perhaps it was due to our killing of the first son of Akatosh, which Aldwin was and is, I guess. And uh, whoa! All right, that's a that's a large troll. All right, stop attacking my. Companion. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, but I hit you instead, of course. Um, apologies. Um, yeah. Yes, um, and being that I did that, probably would be a bit of a sticking point for RK to continue associating himself with me among the Pantheon of Divines. This is just speculation on my part, but it might be. In any case, I think that my losing contact or Losing the ability to hear RK's voice is something that he did not intend or perhaps something that he knew but had to accept. That said, when I received this letter, Sophia, what? what? What I mean is, does it make me look more attractive? Or did you not notice? What are you talking about, Sophia? Let me guess. You want to talk? Uh, perhaps later. I'm I'm deep in meditation. Uh, <laughs> yes, let's go. Yes, and... Uh... Alright. Don't believe I've explored this cave. Witches, or probably Forsworn. You know what? It's the middle I'm of the wilderness. Sleep them be for now. 
Yes, I received this letter from one brother Tolan. Party who is a vigilant abstender. He was requesting that I help or join the Dawn Guard, an organization that I know little about aside from that they are vampire hunters. And that there's supposedly been a rash of vampire attacks. I cannot deny this, we have been attacked by vampires before. However, I never really got into it because, oh, we've had bigger problems other than vampires, you know, the big leathery winged type of uh, problem. But now that going on? Stormcloaks? Alright, um, for some reason, oh god! Alright, well, what? I'm fine. Just stay down. Hey! Must have scared him off. Marcus! Alright, alright. Stay down. Marcus! Where are you? Marcus! Marcus! Where did he go? Uh, who are you fighting? Uh, what is going on here? You. Hey, Farkas! Nice sword you have there! <laughs> hey! Who are you fighting? Hey, the Stormcloaks. We're fighting the Stormcloaks. Um, don't want to hit any of our companions. Alright. Come on. Marcus! Marcus! Good to see you again. Yes, indeed! <laughs> Fancy meeting you here, out in the wilderness. You know what? Farkas, why don't you come with me? You know, I could use your help. But nice to travel with you for a change. Well, let's not waste any time. All right! <laughs> Uh, let's get out of here before we find more Stormcloaks to kill. Alright. That's actually awesome. Um, Uthgad? Uthgad? I'm not sure if you know... No, of course you would know him. You you tried joining the companions before. Uthgad, Farkas, Sophia, Farkas of the companions. I'm here to help. Yes, indeed. All right, so let's all work together, all right? That is a wonderful sword you have. <laughs> I gave what it to I him. Do for you, friend? you know what? I should give you more stuff. You you tend to have... Let's get going. Minimal equipment. Sure thing. All right, let's give you other stuff. Well, I'm actually, I'm actually flattered that you're using the sword that we gave you. Let's give you some arrows. I know that you're not the arrow type, but just in case you feel the need. Oh, yeah, yes, you finally are wearing the stuff that we gave you. We actually gave you stuff. All right. Um, yes. Good. Lead on then. Not sure why you were not wearing that before, but all right. So 
that's a nice surprise. <laughs> so, yes. I received this letter from Brother Tolan. The Vigilant who asking us to join the Dawn Guard. Because he said that uh, there seems to be something more dangerous behind these bandit attacks. And that perhaps the Dragonborn, the one who slew Aldwin, could do well to take part in this conflict, this threat. And now, the thing is, I don't know this brother Tolan. Not really... Uh, not really... Uh, Allied with the vigilance. Victory. Come on. That's the last of them. Right. So I really am not obliged to carry out this request. Aside from the fact that we are both clerics of the divines. We are all concerned generally with protecting the populace of Skyrim. However, why I really am here, going to meet the Dawn Guard, or at least attempting to, if we can find them, <laughs> is because. Come on, it's. Teacher. It's because of the tone of the letter. I was reading it and the way that the letter was written, the words, how they read, there was something in them that I felt was familiar. Oh, no, you don't. And after a while I recognized what it was. I recognize the voice behind the letter, the words. It was a voice that I had long stopped hearing. The voice of R.K. As weird as it may be, I think R.K. was speaking to me through this brother Tolan. I mean, it's always been said that the divines work in mysterious ways. How con inconceivable could it be that he moved this vigilant of Stendar to ask for my help? RK still needs me. As always, I will answer. And am I sure that this is true? That maybe I'm making a mistake. Maybe it's really just a vigilant asking for my help. Just because. Well, I'm thinking that... Yes, perhaps. But I think I'm right. Because... I'm working on faith. Which is something odd for me to say. <laughs> anyway, yes, why are we here? Ah, uh, yes, because apparently in a ruin called Gearman's Hall, we can find the third piece of the Golder amulet, which we have... I wonder if there are actually any real ghosts at the nearby barrow. Can you believe people get scared of such things? I'm not scared of anything. Well, good for you, Sophia, but you know, there were, there were indeed ghosts. No, actually, there was... Well, there are ghosts now. <laughs> actually, in the first place, there was no ghost. There was just this... Uh... You know what? It's a long story. Maybe I'll tell it to you one of these days when we're sitting down. No, it's not this. It's over there. It's a Nordic rune, thousands of years old. Yes, yes, I know. Um, it's on an island. 
You know what? I'll go by myself. Um, girls, the two of you have been fighting with me all, all day yesterday and all night. We haven't had rest. I think you deserve a rest. How well, can I help you with today? Let's focus. Focus can... Focus can stay with you and we can get to know each other. Yeah, all right. All right. Citizen. Stay here for now. Mm -hmm. uh, hello there. Sophia? Let me guess. You want to talk? No, no, no. Um, just stay here for now, all right? Take a break. You deserve it. Why do you get to have all the fun? Um... Because, um, you know, I'm, I'm the Dragonborn. What's going on? Skyrim certainly has its fair share of inns. Uh, Usgard is already yeah. resting. Pardon me, my lord. What's wrong with Would you? Would you care to hear me play my lute? Was it you? Hello. Here for work? Get an axe and bring me all the wood you can chop. Oh, you're the Just one Just get out of my way. I've got work to do. Farkas? Uh... <laughs> All right, stay here for now, all right? All right. You should probably be in bed. You're looking a bit under the weather. I am? I am. Well, it's just that I'm tired. Hmm. You know what? It's fine. We'll just rest later. So. Why are we going alone? Well, for starters, we are going to a Nordic ruin. I think it's over there. There's actually something I wish to try. <laughs> and uh, particularly because it's on an island and only I have these boots. Didn't want to inconvenience my companions. I love these boots. I wish I could disenchant them. I can make more boots. Like them. Alright. Oh, there it is. Alright. Gearman's Hall. Alright. So. Now, the thing is. I don't really need the golden amulet because the amulet that I have is actually quite powerful. I should know, I enchanted it myself. But, well, who knows? Maybe it is supposed to be of incalculable power, this golden amulet, so might as well. And if it isn't, we can at least give it to one of our companions or keep it safe for those who would take it. Hmm, wolves. So, kind speech. And let's candle it. It's a whole family. Hello there. All right, let's leave. Won't last forever. Hmm. Don't try that at home, youngsters. Don't have the training. So, yes. If this is going to be like every other Nord ruin, there will probably be Droga. So let's try using this. Let's take off our mother. How do we look? Well, we look like a dragon priest. But the important thing is that this particular helmet will make Draugr tolerate us. Oh, I actually want to see how this goes. <laughs> One of the things we took home from our trip to Worm's Tooth. All 
I didn't want to bring our companions because, well, I'm not sure if the mask will extend to them as well. So if we're going to risk ourselves, we'll keep our companions safe. Fairly sure none of them are, would have been in danger. But still. So, hmm, fish. What's this about? Oh, all right. All right, um. Alright, um, so I guess, uh, bird fish. Don't wake up. But actually, I, I actually want to, them to wake up because so we can see if the mask works. Um, fish snake. Fish. Snake. Perhaps that's uh, power. They can't detect us. And we're not going to take anything from the tomb. We're just here for that piece of the golden amulet. Ah! <laughs> right the first time. All right. Oh! Hello? Hi there! Um... How are you? By the gods, it does work. What does it do? Does it... Does it make us look like another droga? Huh? Hi there! Um... Yes. Hello. Alright, this is a bit unnerving. Usually killing you pe things, people. Um, I guess none of you are much for conversation. Hmm. Lord Gearmund, Archmage of Windhelm. Lord Battlemage to King Harald, or Harald. Magus, keep thy vigil eternal. Serve now in death as you did in life. By these seals our realm preserve from traitors three and their charms of strife. I mean, I know about loyalty, but... Isn't this a bit much? He's dead already. Whoa! Alright. It actually is working. Huh. How are you? You know, this mask would be invaluable to scholars who want to find out how these droga actually live day to day. Because it has been speculated that they have even works on their pets. They speculated that these tombs are, of course, maintained by the droga. They're the ones who keep these braziers and candles lit. Begs the question why the Draga don't have night vision. No, it's... Whoa, alright. Death Lord. No, it's not like I wouldn't be able to go through this place the regular way. And killing them, or well... Droga aren't, um... What? Oh, oh, it's that's not the real switch. It's a trap switch. Oh, thank you. Oh! <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. You, you're very, very kind. 
Hello. Yes, Droga. Killing the Droga would be a mercy. Because they are not Droga by choice, so not entirely. Ow, 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 sorry. Ow. Right. What was that? Really should shut that when there's no enemies around. I mean, that's dangerous. They are put in this state because of the curse. Or because of their loyalty to the dragon cults. But in essence, these people are being kept subjugated enslaved serving masters who no longer value them their souls trapped in these husks of petrified bone killing them or well destroying the force that tethers them are you going to fight me Apparently not. Alright, um, well I guess we should, uh, we should dispense with the facade. Whoa! Oh, ah, ow, 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 what should we do? How about become ethereal? Up, but that's not the real one. Ow! Right. What? Damn! Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Ow. Ah. So they change places? Ah. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Right. This is a bit annoying. Are you the real one? Damn it. Help. Ah! All right, this is annoying. Thank you, thank you. All right, all right. Damn it. annoying. <laughs> oh, I think you're the one. Ah. I have to kill you. Yes, you are. Ah. So the real one is taken. you are. Yes, you're naked. You are the real one. <sighs> yes. And here it is. Worth it. 
I think. Ah. All right. Um. What's going on? Hmm. All right. Um. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. Uh. Yeah. Put some clothes on. <laughs> All right. So yes, I have half a mind to go back and uh, put all of them out of their misery because we've already killed their master. What's the point in letting them all carry on? Then again, they're ca taking care of the tomb, they're keeping it clean and safe and don't really have a reason to fight them. I probably wouldn't do this again in the next Snort Ruin. Probably still make it a point to defeat any Draugr that we find. Maybe I'll come back here someday, put them out of there. Well, to free them from this service. But for now though, I think um, We'll leave this for another day. Cut. There there. Alright, carry on. I am off. Oh! Oh! God, that's so... That's so horrible. Anyway. Yes, um... So, now we have all three pieces of the Golder Amulet. Should we be in the rift? We just have to find this reach water rock. Then we'll see. Not a priority at this point, but well, it was good to finally get all three pieces. So, let's get back to the inn and have some rest, damn it. Even I need some sleep every now and then. There's a lot of people. <sighs> Welcome to the Villamir Inn. If there's anything I can get you, just let me know. Thank you. Hello there, Wilhelm. Hey there. Hey, it's been a long time. I'd like to rent a room, please. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Thank you. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Why, has it changed from the last time I was here? Oh, look. No, it hasn't. <laughs> But you still what don't. You, doing that for? you still don't have a door. Let me know if there's anything else you need. A door? <laughs> uh, you know what? It's uh, still a bit early. Let's just hang out. For I a think while. you should continue with your performances. <sighs> What's the point? I'm not very good, and it's only for the same few people every night. All right. Did I just eat a raw chicken breast? Ah, I'm fine. Uh, all right. I think you play beautifully. It would be a shame. Is it absolutely necessary for you to bother me right now? I suppose it's I'm the not least bothering you. Why do you think I'm bothering you? You don't look like a pilgrim. Why bother visiting Iverstead? Already been there. Me and the Greybeards, we're like close. 
<laughs> yes? What a boring conversation. Here yeah, I thought Nazim was the only annoying person. Sophia! Yes, I'm listening. Yes, um... I think you should continue with your performance. Let's, uh, Please. let's talk a while. Really I mean, now that we are not uh, killing bandits or delving into caves or dungeons, we should talk. Of course. Uh, yes, um... So, um... What were you doing before we met? And uh, before you started um, monitoring me? I was playing two guys against each other in a bid to win me over. Of course, they had to supply me with plenty of drink and earn my affection. Huh. I just wanted some entertainment. Oh, it was great watching them get more and more competitive. It ended up in a massive brawl, and once it was over, I left them both empty-handed and out of pocket. <laughs> As for waking up in a stable without any clothes on, I don't remember what happened after leaving the tavern, but that's nothing new. Mm, um, well, perhaps even before that. Well, I was wandering around Skyrim killing bandits who thought I was an easy target, and meeting new locals. <laughs> or should I say, making new enemies. Hmm. Before that, I was studying, if you can call it that, at the College of Winterhold. Oh, really? It wasn't my first choice, of course, being a Nord. But I had no place to go, and it was either that or live in a cave. Hmm. So, I learned a few spells just to keep them happy. I hmm. must admit, though, that learning to blow stuff up was I pretty fun. Unfortunately, my genius was wasted on them, and I was kicked out for making everyone naked with a spell I forced some other student to create for me. So, it turns out I ended up living mostly in caves anyway. Oh. That is... That is a very interesting story. <laughs> Alright, um... Well... In any case, you've proven that you are a valiant companion. And I don't care what you've done in the past, as as annoying as it sounds. I'm glad you're here with me. I could get used to this. Not that I dream about you, of course. Oh, uh, yes. I'm glad that's sorted. Yes, yes. Well citizen hmm legionnaire is it absolutely necessary for you to bother me right now oh shut up <clears throat> go to bed yes it's an it's an early time to get to bed but I need a lot of sleep Is that rain that I'm hearing? Me? Who's good? Focus! Time to go! Sophia, come on. Was there something you wanted? Yes, it's time to leave. You came back for me? I mean, of course you did. Of course, you're, you're a companion. Well, not a companion. You well, not one of the companions, but a. You you know I'm what still I mean. Here. Yes, I know. Come on, Farkas, come on. Oh my gosh. <sighs> now that that is rain. <laughs> I'm so glad that our armor is enchanted to protect us from this as much as enemy blows. Alright, um we take that it didn't dock what a Well we have to go the way we came to get to Riften. Alright. Come on. You need something. 
I find. Well, not the most auspicious of beginnings for a day, but well, it's it's different. <laughs> So yes, Dawn God. I have to say I am curious to see what they are really like. What now? What's that? It's a bear. I need to take care of that. Come on. Good, good. It was such a long time ago when I first heard of them. Oh. <laughs> Dawn God, are we going the right direction? Yes, we are. We just go past Trevor's watch. Just keep going. Actually, not that far. Maybe we'll get into trouble along the way. Let's prepare though. Huh. As, as I've said before, we have seen some vampire attacks. I haven't... What the hell? Really? Mercy? I thought you Thalmor didn't ask for or give mercy. Come on, take it out. Over here. They say I should keep loud in their words. So I let my weapons keep talking. Whoa! Uh, what is it with Trolls. Something must have happened recently for trolls to be suddenly so large. I'll tear you to pieces. Yes. Where, where, who's, who are you going to tear to pieces? Uh, he's a companion, he can take care of it. I'll wait for you here. Oh, there you are. What? What is it? No, Marcus, what? Is good? Oh, you're done. Alright, come on. Yes. We were told about the Dawn Guard by, I believe, uh, an orc. He was probably one of them. We continue. Yes, we let's part. That's Trevor's watch. Uh, let's go this way. And yes, at the time. We didn't, uh, we denied. We didn't deny, we just said that... What did I say? I don't remember. It was a lifetime ago. Hello? Don't bother me, peasant. I've had a long journey and paid too much coin on these gifts to be late to Victoria's wedding. Um, yes, well, enjoy the wedding. Indeed, if we ever get there. So, we just keep on this road. I think we'll reach Rifted. And from there, well, we'll have to make our own directions because I'm not familiar with where this Fort Dawnguard is. 
supposed to be a rather large fortress. But I'm sure I've passed by that area and I... Ow! Really? Never seen... Never seen a fort that wasn't controlled by bandits. Whoa! Where's Farkas? Oh, there he is. I hope Farkas wasn't on any important companion business when we snatched him. This is a ruin. The vengeance cell. Have we seen this place? It's a Nordic room, thousands of years old. Yes, I've seen a few of those. <laughs> Oof, good. No. Journal of Medresi Drad on Angervund. Whispers of this ancient temple have been few and far between. The most real knowledge seems similar to Angervund itself, buried and forgotten. Yet every story or legend I hear all seem to speak of immeasurable riches found deep within. Great treasure waits for the worthy adventurer, said one old fool after many false flirtations and tankards of need. Though he may have been a nuisance, his information matches most of my research, specifically the location of Angervund. Tomorrow I will hire a mining team to assist me with my excavations and head towards the ruin. By this time next month I shall be rich. M.D. Huh. But it's not really any business of ours. Where's na, 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 na. But it is a ruin. And it is raining. Oh, what the hell? Come on, people. 